Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. My name is Nur Sakina Swardi. I'm your program chairman for MSc Medical Physics and MSc Radiation Science. So first of all, I would like to welcome all of you to School of Physics USM. I'm going to give you a briefing about the program. So this is actually our building, School of Physics. Our dean is Prof. Dr. Abdul Raza Ibrahim. And we have two deputy dean, which is Dr. Noah Sinda and also associate professor, Dr. Lim Huisan. So for postgraduate study, so mainly you are going to deal with associate professor, Dr. Lim. This is the structure for the medical physics and religion science. So me, myself as a program chairman, and we have associate professor, Dr. Azza Abdul Rahman as a research leader. For medical physics and radiation science, we have two laboratory, which is medical physics lab and also biophysics lab. So Dr. Siti Khadija are going to in charge as a research officer for the medical physics lab. And we have Mr. Rizal, assistant science officer for the biophysics lab, and Mr. Azhar, assistant science officer for the medical physics lab. So in the future, when you need to use the both of the labs, you are going to deal with all three of them. This is a list of the medical physics lecturers. So we have Associate Professor Dr. Azhar Abdul Rahman, Associate Professor Dr. Iskandar, we have Dr. Nasir, Dr. Ramzon, Dr. Nur Laili, Dr. Nur Zahira, Dr. Nick, me, myself, Dr. Nur Hashikin, and also Dr. Yasmin. So throughout your study, basically you are going to meet um, all of them. If it's not during the course, you also maybe will meet them during the project. So let's first start with the Master of Science Medical Physics. So this MSc is actually by postgraduate degree, which is one or two year full-time program. And the degree will be awarded after a successful completion of seven core courses, two elective courses, and also one project course. And you will actually have to fulfill 40 units in order for you to graduate. So this is the list of courses that we have. Um, for the first semester, you are going to have about um, five core courses, which is ZCT 531, Human Anatomy and Physiology, ZCT 532, which is Radiation Physics, ZCT 533, Dosimetry and Radiation Protection, ZCT 534, Physics of Diagnostic Radiology, and ZCT 596, which is actually a practical for the medical physics student. On the second semester, we have three core courses and two electives. So the first uh, one is ZCT 535, which is Nuclear Medicine and Radiotherapy Physics. And you have um, the project actually you need to do, which is ZCT 595, and also a practical two for ZCT 597. And you have two elective courses that you have to take, which is ultrasound and magnetic resonance imaging, and also radiobiology and radiation chemistry. This is a list of a practical for the medical physics. And we have detection and measurements of radiation, performance evaluation of ultrasonic imaging system, quality control of X-ray machine and phone processing, and also dose measurement in chest phantom. This is a list of practical for semester two. So for semester two, basically you are going to do it at hospital. We have um, either go to GH Penang or we are going to go to IPPT, which is another branch of USM. The topic that we are going to go through is the diagnostic and radiology, nuclear medicine and radiation protection, radiotropy and treatment planning, and also a brachytropy. So basically we will cover this in second semester. So for the MSc Radiation Science, it's a bit different from um, the MSc Medical Physics because MSc Radiation Science is a mixed mode. It's also one or two year full-time program and the degree is awarded after a successful completion of five core courses and one dissertation. So the number unit is the same, which is a 40 units. So basically for the first semester, you are going to take a course. You have to sit for an exam and pass um, the exam. But for the semester two, you didn't have any course that you have to take. I mean, like you don't have to sit for an exam. You are just going to take a dissertation. So for the first semester, you have to take radiation physics, um, ZCT 53, which is the symmetric radiation protection. You have radiation protection one and radiation protection two, and you also will have a practical. And for the second semester, you will actually are going to have a 20 units of dissertation where you have to do a research. So this is a list of practical for radiation science student. The first one is detection and measurement of radiation, investigation exercise of biophysics laboratory, quality control of X-ray machine, and also radiation protection in nuclear medicine department at IPPT. 
So for coursework mode and also the mixed mode program, so when you're actually taking a course, you will actually have an um, exam. So these exams are going to be conducted at the end of each semester, for example, at semester one and semester two. For medical physics students, since you are taking both of the courses on the semester one and semester two, so you will have exam for both semesters. Um, while for the mixed mode student, you only are going to have an exam for the semester one because semester two will be fully dissertation. So during the examination, in the cases of emergency, where if you are, una are unable to sit for the examination, you have to actually notify the examination unit in writing, and you have to accompany this with the medical certificates. And you also have to comply all the requirements um, for uh, lectures, tutorials, practicals in order for you to qualify to sit for the examination. So if you did not attend the lecture, so the lecturer will actually have right to ban you from entering the exam. And the examination process is based on the principle of the continuous assessment that comprises of the coursework and the written examination component. So you have a component for the coursework and another component for the examination. For the coursework, you basically will be based on the participation in the tutorials, if you are going to have a test, essays, project work, assignment or field work. So the lecturer in charge of the courses are going to brief you about this. So this is actually the grading system. So performance is assessed according to examination grading method, which is the CGPA based on this scale. So you actually, if you have A, so the point is 4, A minus is 3.67, B plus is 3.33, B is 3.0, B minus is 2.67, and C plus is 2.33. For the master degree, you have to remember that you have to get 2.33, which is C plus and above, in order for you to pass. So the requirement is you have to pass all the subject, at least with the C plus. So if you have C or C minus um, and below, so you basically will have to repeat the course again because um, C and below will actually consider fail. For the international student, there is actually a language requirement. We call it Bahasa Malaysia. So you have to actually take a Malay language, LKM 100. So this is compulsory for all international students and to be passed prior to graduation. You have to get at least a minimum C in order for you to get the pass for the um, graduation. And you can register the course at School of Language, Literacy and Translation. This is a graduation requirement um, for the course and mixed mode. You have to comply all of these in order for you to graduate. So you have to pass all the courses and other prerequisite courses de determined by the respective school, center or institute with the grade C plus and above. And you have to pass a dissertation, which is your research project. You have to obtain at least a CGPA of 3.0. So, for example, if your semester you have less than 3.0, so you have to repeat certain uh, courses. And you have to fulfill the minimum duration of the candidature. So, for this coursework and also mixed mode, the minimum is one year. So, you have to make sure that you fulfill the one year in order for you to graduate. And for the international student, you have to pass Bahasa Malaysia or LKM 100. So, that's all for my briefing. Hopefully I will see you soon. Bye everyone.